Anyway, we're at about $31.5 million now. Uh, I started in, what, 17 years ago, 1998. The co-op at that point was doing $11 million a year, so we've almost tripled in the last 17 years. Um, we've been getting pretty steady 6-7% um, growth per year up until last year when we started seeing our, uh, the sales. They're still getting growth. We only got 5% last year, and it was starting to slow down a little bit. And I think that some of the things that we've all been talking about are definitely happening here. Um, we heard that Whole Foods is coming into town a mile away from our current store and about 1.9 miles away from the store that we're moving, we're, we're relocating our store to. Um, you know, so everyone, uh, a lot of people are really concerned about Whole Foods, but I think that really what's, what we're seeing is going, is going on is that our, the growth that we were getting uh, was mostly coming from increasing customer transactions, and we're seeing that slow down and I think it's for a lot of the things that we've talked about. We've, it's, it's not just the Whole Foods. We've, basically, there are three Whole Foods in the Sacramento area, but the closest one is eight miles away. Uh, the, the rest of them are out on the periphery, about 20 miles out. Uh, we had a Sprouts open up about two years ago, about two miles away from us in an area where we get a lot of our business. We actually didn't see any kind of effect on our sales when Sprouts opened up. Slowly over time, we're starting to see, you know, we can track the sales from our members in that, the area around that store. And we're starting to see a little bit of um, deterioration in, in sales there. What we're seeing is we're getting fewer transactions from that area, larger transaction size, which tells me that people are using that store sort of uh, on a more regular basis and coming to the co-op less frequently. And when they come to us, they buy more. Um, we have Costco here. Uh, we have, you know, Safeways, Raley's, all the uh, traditional grocery stores. And as we've been talking about, they're all doing a lot of what we've been doing. We're not the only store in town. Um, I think that what's happening there is that those stores are sort of cutting off the supply line. For we, we used to just get customers who would be looking for natural and organic foods, and they'd come to us because basically we were pretty much the only, uh, the only business in town that was doing it seriously. And now, if... You know, but as we've said here, most of those people are doing most of their shopping at a conventional grocery store. And while they're at Raley's, they can pick up the things that they used to come to us for more frequently. So now there's a no real reason for them to find us. So I think it's sort of cutting down the number of new, probably uh, mid, mid-level shoppers that used to find us. So what are we doing about it? Well, internally, we're looking, we're putting a lot of emphasis on who, uh, who works in our store. Uh, we spend a lot of time trying to hire the right people. Our store manager there, Michelle, spends a god-awful amount of time interviewing everybody uh, that, that wants to have a job in our store um, because we feel it's really important. Uh, we have a lot of people who've been working in our store for a long time. I think the average tenure is about six and a half years, and a lot of people have been there for 10, 15, 20 years. Um, and we tend to just hire people who look and act like us, but that isn't necessarily what that vast, massive mid-level shoppers are looking for. They're not necessarily looking for um, people who look and act like us. Uh, and they're not, they're not necessarily uh, comfortable with some of that. So we're trying to be really um, particular about the type of hiring that we're doing. We're trying to get people who are passionate about food. They're passionate about organics. They're passionate about serving, uh, giving good service, because that's really what it's all about. And I think that ultimately that is what will distinguish us. Um, we've spent a lot of time training and, and talking up service and creating a welcoming experience for our customers. Because again, if people s finally stumble into our store and have a bad experience, they're not going to come back and they're going to tell their friends. But on the other hand, if they come in and they're treated warmly and they are shown around the store and our staff actually know what the products are because we do spend a fair amount of time. Stacy, who's back there, uh, does uh, product knowledge training uh, for all of our employees. The more that we can get our employees excited about and knowing about our, the products that we sell, the more effective they are about giving, will be about giving service uh, to, our, to our customers and giving them a reason to, to come back. Um, in the community, we do, we've always done a lot of outreach. We always go out to a lot of different outreach events. Adriana is back there, used to be our outreach coordinator. Now she, they stole her, and now she's at Quincy. Um, but we, we continue to do a lot of outreach events. And uh, so we're trying to 
find new places to go, places where people who uh, might not, we might not normally think of as co-op shoppers, where they are, because we want to find them and bring them in. We do a lot of, um, we make a lot of effort to make the store as affordable as possible. We have a community discount that basically gives anyone who's on any kind of income assistance program a 10% uh, discount every day. We have a community kitchen program that we set up a couple of years ago that does free classes. Uh, with a, they, we hook up with a, a couple of other organizations in town that, that deal with the low income uh, community and we provide free uh, nutrition and, and cooking classes uh, to their, their clientele. The most important thing we're doing is moving to a better facility. We're basically moving out of a store that's old, too small, with limited parking, to a site that's going to be much larger, uh, much more parking, and put us in a better uh, competitive position to actually compete with Whole Foods or whoever, whoever it is that comes to town. So, awesome. Thank okay. you so much.